Hi Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. It feels so good to be back y'all. I apologize for the delay. I have been a little bit in my A recently because I have been kind of feeling kind of down. I was battling with um, some sinus issues and it became a sinus infection. So I was just really trying to recover and just really trying to use the last remaining energy that I had just really reserve all my battery, my juice for just kind of power through my daily routines and also to make do on the promises that I kept for the pre-scheduled personal readings that had already been booked. So now that I'm back and feeling better than ever, I hope you guys are doing well yourselves or at least this reading finds you guys well or at least will make you feel a little bit better. I hope this reading encourages and helps, um, but I have no clue what I'm going to see here in this reading here today, but I will read it to you guys the way it comes out. Now, what I'm going to do here, Aquarius, is uh, just look at your past, look at your present, look at what's coming up for you guys in the near future when it comes to love, when it comes to matters of the heart, when it comes to your soulmate. Whether this is someone you met in the recent or distant past, someone who you may not be in contact or in communications with at this time. And if you guys are, it could be little to none. It really doesn't matter. And what this means for you for the future, whatever it is the Spirit shows me here is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, and rising signs. But not everything shown, picked up, sensed that comes through in this reading here is going to resonate with every single one of you. In the case it is your energy Aquarius that comes through very strongly, just know that I have no control over that either. If you wish to do a personal reading or you have personal questions about your love life, about the person who you feel a connection with, who's either in your life right now or was, or maybe if you're entirely single, you want to know who's coming in. You can direct your personal questions to my email, which I'll provide in the description box below this video. And you can get your reading back within one to three business days, choosing the lover special that I have only for $33.33. You can just email me and I'll just send you the instructions. All right, so Aquarius, what happened in your recent or distant past? What's going on for Aquarius? Oh, okay. So you have the Ace of Wands, the Four of Wands in Strength, followed by the Ten of Swords with the Ten of Wands. Damn, I'm getting very strong Sagittarian energy for some of you. This is an Aries, okay? I have also a Leo. This is a very strong fire that's coming through. It's passion. It's strength that screams excitement. Something new happened for you when it comes to love. Something you least expected. Okay, this was a very intimate, passionate relationship. It started kind of abruptly, a little bit casually. Um, it came really unexpected, to say the least. Now, both of you guys were really feeling each other, okay? You were very excited about where this might lead, how this might turn out, where this might go. But you also had your reservations. You had some doubts, you were a little bit confused. There were some things you felt like your person wasn't fully disclosing to you. They, you feel like they may have been purposely have kept hidden or may have you suspected they were keeping some things private or you felt like they were hiding something now you were kind of holding back you didn't really want to just flat out you know let this person know that you had these that you felt like something weird was going on you didn't 
really know how to maybe question this word this but i'm getting here for some of you you may have been quite direct about it too we'll look into that okay this is a lot of tens that's coming through in your reading here aquarius person that you were dealing with may have strong virgo libra cancer aries sagittarius okay capricorn in their chart or it's in yours could be any other sign as well leo um cancer pisces is what i'm seeing um wow there was a choice here Let's get to your present moment. I'm going to clarify this energy here because what I'm seeing right now is Aquarius, you met someone here who you felt like could be the one. Things quickly change for you. If you were just kind of rebounding or maybe keeping your options open if you were just interested in this person maybe thinking it was just going to be a casual situation he didn't know what to expect but i mean the ace of wands to the four of wands to the strength card it it was kind of a little bit beyond your expectations it was like as soon as you it was definitely made for some of you may have been love at first sight I mean, I see here there was just this really intense physical, yes, attraction, okay? We can be attracted to a lot of people in our lifetimes, right? And they don't necessarily have to be the love of our lives. We actually have you know, a con someone we feel a really strong connection with. But for this person, it's like you were really attracted to this person physically, but then you fell in love with this person personality as you got to know them then you felt like whoa like there's something about the two of you just makes sense but there were a lot of questions here okay and i'm seeing here spirit showing me you fought for this you didn't just let them go readily and easily um when i say you fought for this i'm kind of getting here you know you didn't want to have any regrets you wanted to at least let your person know how you felt or where you're coming from or, you know, at least kind of talk about your feelings with this person and maybe even where it might go. I'm seeing here there were for some of you talks about the future. Some of you, this was made a little bit more problematic because I'm seeing here somebody here was in a tough situation. Somebody was either in a third party situation, had just really just gotten out of a really bad relationship kind of going through a divorce or was on their way out of coming out of a relationship and so that may have um you know <clears throat> made the situation more complicated obviously but i want to look into this because this is saying you felt like I mean, you found somebody you were really attracted to. And I mean, Aquarius, you just really were into them, that you were just really into them. You may have tried to even play it off for some of you like you weren't in the beginning. <laughs> I'm seeing here a lot of you guys got hurt by the situation. The person's energy that I'm picking up right now, you really got hurt. Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, Strength, Ten of Pentacles, that's a lot of Tens. Okay. Um, you just felt like you had no choice maybe but to let the situation go. But letting this person go or letting the situation end or going your own separate ways was probably one of the hardest things you've ever really had to do. Okay. For some of you, could still be kind of holding on to the possibility of a reconciliation right now because I'm seeing here this was somebody that was really meaningful to you I mean this is the 1111 card 
I mean, this is even if you dated many people, if maybe dated or wasn't a very long term relationship before, this was like a new chapter in your life. You were ready to start on something big with somebody. I mean, you were right there. The energies between you both was just very magnetic. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is there's a lot of physical attraction here. Maybe it was just a sex-based relationship. But I'm seeing here it quickly formed into something neither one of you could really understand. Okay? The Ten of Pentacles here. It's like you found the one. You found the person you want to make an investment with. This is like your person. You know, you're ready to even go all in for somebody here. And that's not something Aquarius typically does. You know, but for this person, you kind of, you you really gave it some, some thought. What's going on in your present moment? Okay. You could still be thinking about this person, Aquarius. I saw the fool with the Ten of Swords when I was in your pre-shuffle. And I was just meditating on your energy here, Aquarius. For some of you, you could be disconnected from this person right now. You could be in separation from this person. But even if you are, I don't get that you're in this Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, you know, Three of Swords energy. I feel like you've had some time to recover. Yeah, maybe losing this person, walking away from this person, or letting this person go was the hardest thing, maybe one of the hardest things you've ever had to do. But maybe some time has passed, or you're just feeling right now, and the energy right now that I'm tapped into is that you're okay. You're okay on your own. You're okay to date other people. You're not really, like, you know, not feeling that heartbroken or that devastated or that hurt anymore by the situation. Yes, your mind still wonders to this person. I see that. I will be looking at the energies here between you both. I want to all also be looking at how they think and feel about you, okay, Aquarius, and see what the what spirit is predicting for you guys in the near future. Yeah, see, I'm saying right now, Aquarius, even though you still think about this person, your actions right now shows me that you're moving forward. For some of you, you may be wondering here, like, am I ever going to meet the right person? Are they coming back? That's also another question that I'm hearing. You just want to know the truth. You want to know if you guys are going to have maybe the future you guys talked about. It felt like it was going towards that direction. I really do feel it. I feel like this was not just a very casual, physical, sex-based relationship, even though, I mean, between you both, it just kind of felt like that. But there could have been a third-party involvement. Somebody here was either not ready for, you know, this whole situation to be... <clears throat> Yeah, but you're feeling okay right now. Yeah, some of you actually found somebody new. Or want to give somebody a chance. I'm also seeing a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You have you got some options here. Aquarius, I feel like you're kind of still leaving room. You're leaving space for this person in your past. If they come back, you're like, man, they, they've got to show me. they got to prove to me. they got to do a lot to win me back. And it's got to be 180 degrees, 180 degrees different from what we went through. Because you're fed up, you're tired, you even had time to grieve this person is what I'm seeing. You actually grieved the loss of this relationship. But you're in this place right now like, you know, yeah, I'm still a little disappointed it didn't work out. But I'm not too phased by it anymore. You're moving forward, Aquarius. This is your energy coming through very strongly. This is your sign. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. You're charging forward. You're moving on and you're okay. There's something here that you can't, you're really proud of. That you've just gotten maybe, that you've beaten. That you just, 
accomplish that you can say like, wow, I did it or like, wow, I can't believe I'm here. Your energy is definitely not as heavy as it used to be when you were dealing with this. I'm kind of getting like you're feeling a little bit better from this whole situation. And even though you're keeping your options open, you still kind of want a serious relationship. The Nine of Pentacles here tells me right now, you're just really focused on yourself, your money, your pentacles, your finances. You're just working on you. You're just doing you, boo. Like right now, you're okay. Not really having anything too serious in your life. You're open for the possibilities. Now, for some of you, there's a, there's a choice between two people. Fire, earth, and water is what I'm seeing. Okay? They could have fire. It could be fire and earth or fire and water. Okay? Or um, earth and fire. Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> there's definitely here a choice between two people. Also, some of you, this is a Libra, okay? This person could have Libra in their chart. Gemini, maybe another Aquarius. Pisces, Cancer. Sagittarius. Capricorn. Tell me what's coming up for you guys. I feel like I see you guys working on you, doing you. Now, you also have somebody from your past and I feel like you know this person really is in love with you. Is someone who's really interested in being with you. And this could be an ex. But I feel like you're, I mean, there's been issues here with you and this person too. Or maybe the feelings just aren't as intense. You don't feel like you're, you're that infatuated or that in love. Or you just don't feel as strongly magnetic attracted to this person as you do with this person I mean this person here is like you see that volcano over there <laughs> I mean it's something uncontrollable you know it's just I mean it's a very phallic card I mean this person just does it for you you know what I mean I mean someone who you're really attracted to and you can't force attraction you can't you know you can grow to love a person but just this energy right here is someone that you just, you, you vibe with. But you have some questions and you were definitely disappointed because somebody here made you feel like a choice. Couldn't make you feel, it made you feel like they couldn't make a decision. You felt just like, well, you, you, you know, you found your worth though. You, you, you realized here, if somebody here was confused, then... Or if they were confused, or you were confused, or I don't know. We'll take a look here and see what was going on there. Like I said, I was going to clarify. What's happening for Aquarius in the near future? What's happening for Aquarius in the near future? Somebody here also had a change of employment. And it was due to their work. Somebody here may have left because they had to relocate due to work. Or somebody here relocated, okay? And you guys are maybe living in a different town, city, state, um, country, province. Oh, wow. In the near future here, Aquarius, you and this person... <clears throat> have that family you've always wanted there is um something about your reading for not for you're making room you're making space for this person and this person here i keep feeling their energy here it's somebody who is dealing with either another person or they were dealing with work something here was really stressing this person out but in the near future you two are coming together because i see this person may some of you had to leave for work or they were really hoping to kind of get their foot you know to kind of stabilize themselves 
But we have Ten of Cups for you guys and Palace of Swords, Aquarius. That's your energy. You'd be living the life, living the dream life. Everything you've ever wanted. Okay, this is that place of peace, harmony, and this with you. Whatever it is you and this person talked about, whatever it is you wanted with this person, you get. It's because you also put in that work on yourself. And also, for some reason, I'm seeing it's because you made room. You, you kind of, um, tell me about this Ace of Cups. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. The person you've been hoping to hear from. Aquarius, the person you wanted to have a life with, the person that you wanted to get married to or, you know, start a family with, to move in with is what I'm seeing here. Remember something here was about to use and was maybe discussed, but I see here nothing actually happened. Something here fell off. You had an argument. You had a fight. There was something here that screwed up everything here between you and this person but here you guys actually come together okay let me see here this ace of cups it could be with the fire sign cancer aries libra taurus aquarius leo sag virgo cancer gemini are very strong in this reading aquarius that's your card Ace of Cups with the star. I mean, yeah, this was a situation here where someone walked away. Either you walked away or they walked away. Someone here said something which they regret now. Now, it looks like somebody here said something kind of really during the heated moment. This is definitely somebody just... Kind of just, they felt like they won the argument, they won the fight with you, or you felt like you did, you won up them. But at the end of the day, they felt like they didn't come out the winner. Whoever said whatever that was said did not feel like the winner, they actually felt like they lost. It. They're still kind of healing from that, someone's pride is getting in the way. But, yeah, they are still very passionate about you. Let me see this energy from the before. Let me take a look at this person here, okay? Aquarius. <clears throat> see, we have the Hermit with the Five of Cups. I just told you, let me look at this person's energy here. You haven't heard from this person, but they feel this loss. They want you back. They feel like they regret, they, they have regrets. There's something, they've recently had a change of heart. They've really had to take a hard look with it. Okay, there's something they have a guilty conscience about, but they've also changed. Because they realized here, I was talking about this person, they feel the two of cups with you with the hermit. They don't, they're a little bit, see, pride is getting in the way. They don't know how to reach out to you. They don't know what to say. If you're going to be angry, how awkward it would be. But, you know, this person's really just figuring out what it is that they want. They know it's you that they want. I can't make it. It's, they know it's you that they want, Aquarius. They just made a really stupid decision. They did something really stupid and foolish. They may have said something. They may have done something. They may have not said something. They may have not done something. They regret something. Okay. And they're looking forward to being back with you, to seeing you again. I get that there are a lot of conflicts between you both. Something here was said just out of spite. Someone here hit below the belt, and this is why someone left. It's like, wow, you really feel that way? You really mean that? Okay, fine, whatever, bye. But they, you see, fine, whatever, bye. But they don't, they real, they've left. They left the situation or you left them. But this is somebody here um, who still wants you back. Okay, they want to give this situation another chance. And hopefully, hope, 
hoping that you do too. There could have been lies, deceit, cheating in the past. I'm just seeing there's heavy regrets. And I see two women and I also see two men. Somebody had a choice. They made the wrong choice is what is coming through right now. And this person's energy that's coming through is showing me that they really want to just really work on this relationship with you. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles is the most promising knight in the whole entire deck. This is the one that actually makes it to their destination. Even though they're moving very slowly, hardly looks like they're moving. But this is the one that's made up their mind. That This is the one that wants to build. Okay. The one that knows for sure what it is that they want. Or, you know, is is working towards something here. Let's close up your reading here with an advice. I don't know who this reading is for and I hope this reading makes more sense to you guys than it does to me. What about this relationship that's coming through for Aquarius right now? If you guys have any questions or you want your own personal reading about what's going on for you and your person, um, if you want an update or if you want your own personal reading, love or special or a full in-depth reading, just go ahead and email me. All right, Aquarius, what's going on right now for you guys? What's your advice here? What does Spirit want you to know about this connection? You do have a choice between a fire sign and a water sign in the future. Some of you, it's an air sign. I also said, I mean, it is, there's options. It doesn't matter who. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I'm getting a twin flame. Okay, we have a mirror. We have a reflection. We have deep, deep. I told you there is deep attraction. You guys have very, very deep attraction for each other. And then we have also, you know, a mirror reflection here between you and this person. We have the North Node. This is your destiny. This somebody, see, I told you there was somebody here who's afraid to reach out. Somebody's pride and ego is getting away. And someone here is like, Spirit's like, Dina, they need to step out of their comfort zone. What they're feeling right now is you. Like, they want all of this. But they're kind of afraid of how you might react, what this might mean. Um, love can be scary, you know, but they actually have never quite fallen in love the way that they have till they met you. So it is a little bit different for them, it's scary for them. Um, let's take one more card for you guys and let's end your reading here. Some of you guys, I'm getting a message, they even met your kids or you even met theirs. Somebody here really needed time just to work on themselves. But are you speaking the truth and fairness to yourself or what it is you really want? You will have justice in this situation. You may have overgiven or given yourself, given a lot to this, and it wasn't reciprocated before. And you needed that time to nurture yourself, to release yourself from the heartache and the pain and from the self-inflicted binds that you had. But something here is changing for you when it comes to love. Yeah, look at that. I said the fool earlier. You're guided and very protected on your journey here towards the new there I keep seeing doors for you guys and you're reading justice will be in your favor Aquarius that nine of Pentacles is coming through for the fourth time see you guys had to work on you there was some chasing there's someone here is coming back chariot see cancer energy is really really strong and saying go forward in confidence do it. Or get a reading before you do it. Ask me a question. <laughs> okay, Aquarius, I'm going to end your reading here. I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. I hope this reading helped you guys. Thank you guys so much for your time, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye, Aquarius.